Student Voice. Traditionally, schools have been organised to support the needs of teachers, as typified by the factory model of schooling still prevalent in many schools. Warana Park chooses to focus on learning, and as such, the needs of the students are our first priority. Hello and welcome to Hasma's Cooking Show, and today we'll be cooking a simple chocolate cake. Central to this approach is the belief that students must have a strong voice in their learning and how the school operates. Our student parliament provides the ideal vehicle to achieve this goal, given that it links all year levels and models the rights and responsibilities inherent in Australia's democratic form of government. The local electoral office assists our students with the voting process making sure that all students follow protocol, using professional ballot papers and cubicles for privacy. In order to be elected, students prepare carefully considered speeches highlighting their electoral platform, as well as their strengths and expertise. I am standing here today because I am determined to be a leader. 16 student leaders from Year 6 are elected, four for each of the following portfolio areas health and welfare, environment, ICT, entertainment. The two school leaders that receive the highest number of votes are elected to govern their portfolio, while the remaining two school leaders are considered to be in opposition, with responsibility for keeping the government leaders active and true to their promises. These roles are reversed at the start of the second semester. Once elected, school leaders are responsible for forming committees to administer the needs of their portfolio. Four of the 16 school leaders are chosen by the Year 5 and 6 teachers to fill the role of school captains, representing and advancing the school as school ambassadors throughout their term of office. I was thinking that we could have more animals in our school which would help children interact with all uh, with uh, more animals and that would make a lot of environmental change because that would teach children how to um, treat animals safely. Parliament sits once a week and is entirely run by the students. Cabinet meetings for government and opposition school leaders are held prior to Parliament in order that both sides of Parliament are well prepared. Students are asked to use professional etiquette when addressing school leaders, with an expectation that all questions are taken seriously and addressed appropriately. Government leaders are responsible for assisting younger students to form their own class parliament and send representatives to participate in the larger school parliament. Student is the chairperson. Can I say this to the community? In the emotional intelligence room, can we have uh, some art projects for the people who have been a bit stressed at lunch so they can just calm down a little bit. Government cabinet leaders also meet once a month with the school's leadership team in order to represent the voices of the students from across all year levels and to activate ideas or proposals. Hi everybody, today we're making Easy Pizza. Our students as teachers program, initiated by the student parliament, might include teaching younger children to make a pizza, handball a football, use a GPS, or read a story to younger children. Wherever possible, students are empowered to play an active role in the business of the school, participating in a performance review of the school, designing a new learning space, or managing the school book fair. The teaching and learning practices used across the school, along with our inquiry-based curriculum, also play an important role in empowering students. Such practices as encouraging students to use their hundred languages, allowing students to reflect on their learning, peer-to-peer -peer teaching, teachers negotiating the curriculum with children, are all designed to allow children to take responsibility for their learning. 
Good morning, teachers and friends. My name is Belinda and I am here today to ask for your vote to become your health and welfare leader for 2011. Central to the successful operation of the student parliament and students exercising a strong voice in the operation of the school is the attitude of the teaching staff. Unless teachers give students the power to act on their deliberations, their voices will quickly fade to a whisper. Shifting the mantle of expert from teacher to student, while threatening, can be extremely rewarding. I believe that if you keep trying and have hope, you can fulfil anything, 